Have you seen the damage this plastic makes when found in the ocean, rivers or lakes? Oh hey guys, yeah, welcome to story time. We got shore bodies in the plastic ocean, but who's better to read it to you than an actual ocean resident? We have mermaid Jessica inviting us into her grotto and reading shore bodies in the plastic ocean for us. Enjoy. Welcome back to another story time with Mermaid Jessica! I am so excited for today's story in the grotto! Today we are reading Shore Buddies and the Plastic Ocean. Shore Buddies are five friends that are giving marine life a voice in fighting ocean plastic pollution. Find out what they discover and what you can do to help save marine life and keep plastics out of the oceans. Let's meet our shore buddies. I'm Emma the Whale. I travel all over the world and have seen many things. I can't believe how much trash is floating in our ocean. Let's find out how you can help to keep plastics out of the ocean and save marine life. I'm Finn the Dolphin and I'm here to fight for clean oceans. I'm worried about plastic pollution, especially those plastic straws. I'm Shelly the sea turtle and I am here to help save marine life. Animals are getting entangled in floating marine debris. I'm here to fight for clean oceans. I'm Sammy the seal. I fight for clean oceans because I've seen too many of my shore buddies getting sick from all the plastic, especially plastic bags. I'm Steven Siegel, and I'm here with my shore buddies to fight to keep our beaches and oceans clean. Let's give a round of applause for our shore buddy friends. Yay! They are so neat. Every day we find so much trash in the ocean. Shore buddies are here to fight plastic pollution. More than 700 different species of marine animals have been found with ingested plastic. Shore Buddies are a group of five friends that are standing up for clean oceans and beaches. Did you know more than 500 million straws are used every day in the USA alone? That is more than one straw per person per day. Where do you think they all end up? Humans use millions of straws every day, used once, then simply thrown away. But where does it go exactly? Well, it looks like it goes into the ocean. Oh. That makes me so sad. Plastic takes so long to break down. As the plastic usage still grows, it will take far too long to decompose. Plastic is the most common item found at coastal cleanups. Plastic bottles take 450 years to decompose. That's a long time. Single-use plastic bags take one thousand years to decompose. That's like forever. Have you seen the damage this plastic makes when found in the ocean, rivers, or lakes? Over half of the plastic we use is only used once before it's thrown away. When plastic is not recycled, it makes its way into the ocean harming and endangering marine animals. My ocean friends are sure in need of a whole lot of help. The sun and the waves break them into pieces, 
which are then eaten by many fish species. Plastic waste comes in all shapes and sizes. Really small pieces are called microplastics. Because of their tiny size, microplastics get ingested by marine animals with their regular food. It gives them huge belly aches, sometimes so bad that they get sick and can't eat anything else. Have you ever had a belly ache before? Imagine the worst belly ache you've ever had. That's what it feels like when we accidentally eat plastics in our ocean. It hurts a whole lot. Fish and other marine animals are getting confused with floating plastic in the ocean. It looks like they're regular food, but when they eat it, it makes them sick. And with bigger fish eating smaller fish, it keeps climbing up the food chain until eventually reaches a human's plate. Yuck! That means that you humans have potential of eating plastic when you eat seafood. Ew, that's not yummy at all, huh? Climbing the food chain, these plastics go a huge problem that humans have called micro. Let's think of some ways you can help. Refuse. Refuse single-use plastics. Reduce. Reduce using products that contain excessive plastic packaging. If it leaves behind plastic trash, don't buy it. Refuse. Refuse items more than once. Durable straws, utensils, bottles, bags, and other items are a great alternative to single-use plastics. Recycle. Recycle all items that you can't refuse, reduce, or reuse. Most plastics, metal, wood, paper, and cardboard can be recycled and should never end up in the trash. So much of our home is being destroyed. All of this plastic, please help and avoid. When out enjoying a drink with your meal, suggest they offer paper, bamboo, or steel. Okay, if you really need a straw in your drink, go for a more ocean-friendly option. Bring your own reusable steel or bamboo straw with you or only use paper straws. Those items can be reused or recycled and will not end up in our oceans endangering marine life. Whack! Replacing your toothbrush is easy to do. Swapping from plastic to an eco bamboo. Each person uses around 300 toothbrushes during their lifetime. That's 175 feet of plastic added to the environment. Put in a straight line, that's almost twice the size of the largest whale in the ocean. Wow, that's a lot of plastic. There are many changes you can make in your life to ensure our beautiful oceans still thrive. In this story, there's a really fun game. There are several plastic bottles hidden throughout the book. Can you find them all? In today's story, we learn lots of new words. Let's review them now. Decompose. Decompose means to decay to rot or become rotten. Endangering. Endangering is to put something or someone in a dangerous situation. Environment. Environment is all the things that surround humans and animals in the natural world. Excessive. Excessive is more than is needed. Ingested. Ingested is to taking into the body through the mouth. Pollution. Pollution is poisons, waste, or other materials that pollute. Can you spot all six differences in this photo? Did you know that all shore buddy stuffed animals 
are each made from ocean-bound recycled plastic bottles. Check out the Shore Buddy process. First, you get six plastic bottles. Then the bottles are collected and sent out to our factories. Bottles are shredded into plastic pellets. Then the pellets are melted and turned into yarn. And that yarn is used to make Shore Buddies. Wow, that is so neat. That makes my Shore Buddy friends extra special. Or as I say, special. <laughs> and guess what? We have a special code for you. If you use the code Plastic Ocean at checkout, you will get 10% off. Want to know something really cool? All Shore Buddies make noises too? Listen to Finn talk. We learned so much today. Here are some really cool things that we learned. I love to bring a reusable water bottle everywhere I go. Plus, check out the Shore Buddy sticker I got. I love drinking in glass instead of plastic. <laughs> I love making bubbles. <laughs> it's extra fun with a metal straw. Do you ever blow bubbles in your straw? In my clam purse, I always have extra utensils and all these extra goodies. Bam! Check it out. I've got a straw cleaner, a spoon, a dingle hopper, I mean fork, chopsticks, a knife, and a bamboo straw. We also learn about the importance of bamboo toothbrushes. Bamboo is a super strong material that lasts a really long time. It's easy to grow and it's not very expensive. I love being prepared so that I know that I am never harming our marine life. It's very important for me. How about for you? Do you love story time with me and you would like me to keep doing these videos? Be sure to hit the follow and subscribe button so you never miss what's happening in the grotto. And remember, you are straight up magic and you can make anything happen. Your dreams matter. Mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love what we do, then please check out our Shore Buddies Ocean Ambassador program on our website. We're gonna put the link right here. And whoo, Steven comes flying. We gonna put the link right here and learn how you can become a Shore Buddies Ocean Ambassador yourself and help to keep the plastics out of the ocean. Steven, what are you doing?